Hi, I am Uwe Makwan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It is such a delight to have you watch this video. Actually, I want to speak on the golden rule and I want to do a little exposition on it. We live in a culture and a society where we see a lot of things happen. Heart pain, abuse, inhuman activities, horrific actions by fellow human beings and the first thing that will come to mind is what is in their mind it gets me to want to ask do they have a principle for their life do they have any moral principle a good moral principle that they are living their life by or they just live by how they feel and it's it's sad the problem with living by how you feel is that how you feel is informed by what you know how you feel is informed by what you believe whatever your feelings are is informed by your convictions your belief system your principles so if you don't have a good moral principle that you know and you live by it means whatever you're being fed with bringing up the feeling that you feel if you feel like being good to people you'll be good if you feel like hurting people so that's good for you so it's it's a place that you we need to think again do you have a moral principle guiding your life or you are just living by how you feel i would like to hear in the comments what you think about the golden rule or you believed about it how it was taught to you what experiences you've had in trying to carry out the principle you know the problem is sometimes you become good to people and people hurt you you do nice things to people and they repay you with nasty things it's something that would get you to think like why would they do that to me in fact i'm done with this principle <laughs> I'm never ever gonna live by it from today. I'm going to treat you how you treat me. Whatever you do to me, I'll give you the same. So, and, and there's a lot of people that are in that place, like whatever people do to me, I'm gonna give them the same. So, which is why we need to really do an exposition on this. What did Jesus mean when he said, do unto others what you would like them to do unto you? Find this principle in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Let me read that. Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the law and the prophets. That's what Jesus said. So, my question is, do you apply this principle in your life or do you just live your life you know why they may be lapses in terms of i do you good and expect that you do me good that alone i don't think you expecting good from someone that you did good to is part of what the principle said we have lapses in it because not everybody believes this principle some people have just heard it, not as if they believe it not as if they want to live by it so if i get to believe the principle you get to believe the principle and another person do not if we relate with that person or you have any interaction with that person whatever comes out from there you are acting out of what you believe they don't believe the same thing so whatever i give you is based on what they believe which is why we might be disappointed when you do good to someone they don't do the same to you because this is what happens when you are a good person you assume that everybody is good yeah when you have a good heart you assume that everybody has a good heart but it's not so everybody's not like you everybody do not have a good heart if you do something you need to have the right motives we try to be reactive to how we treat people because of the experiences we had with people but if you want to look at this principle again jesus did not say do unto others what they have done to you he did not say do unto others as you would observe what they will do to you instead he said do unto others what you would like them do unto you now the question comes what would you want people to do unto you what would you what if you would have a choice someone would tell you choose <laughs> i want to do something to you i want to know how to deal with you what to do when it comes to relating with you interaction with you if someone would ask you that what would you think for myself i like to be loved i like to be encouraged i like to every good thing i think you might like the same thing so all of us we want to be loved we would like to be encouraged we would like to be celebrated we would like to be helped we would like to be appreciated we would like to be understood very important if you would love these things you would like people to do this to you now look at what jesus said do these things to them what you would like what you would choose people to do unto you do it to them now this is not saying that when you do these things to them when you love people, when you encourage people that they will encourage you back it's not saying when you understand people they're gonna understand understand you it's not a guarantee that what you give to people is what you're gonna get but the essence of this is you are obeying god which is one of the best things to do and if you obey god there's always a reward that you will get 
because you are obeying him. This is about you initiating these things you would like people to do unto you, not about being reactive to it, but just being proactive. Like before I get to meet anybody, I should predetermine that I'm going to be good to them. The Bible says, trust in the Lord and do good. Like I'm trusting God and I'm going to do good to you, whether you, you will be good to me or not. If we could imbibe this, it would make us have a very good interaction with people, whoever we meet. This is another thing that comes up. At times, you may not know what you would like people not to do to you until they do it. Some of the things you wouldn't want people to do to you, you get to know them by experience. Why is this so? You would not expect someone to just hurt you. Nobody walks around and say, like, I'm going out. Someone's going to hurt me. Like, I'm expecting it. No, you wouldn't choose that if you were to have a choice to choose what people should do to you. If people get to do things that you don't like to you, what is your response to that? Do you take that and start behaving to other people based on what these people do to you? Do you pay back by doing the same to others? Someone hurts you. So now you go about, like, you know, they hurt me. So, well, just going to hurt other people feel good sometimes. Sometimes it feels clean, but it's not right. That's not God's way of going about this. You can't tell what people would do to you, but you can control how you treat people and what you would do to them. You can't tell what people would do to you, but you can control how you treat people, how you treat other people and what you would do to them. That's the only thing you can control. You cannot control how they behave with you. You cannot control what they do to you. You might have, you know, things that you would desire to do, but you can't control. Neither can you guarantee they're going to do it. So that's why you don't have to believe this principle. Go about doing good, expecting that, oh, if I give them some good, they'll do me some good. No, do it because you want to obey the Lord, not because you want it done back to you. You will be greatly disappointed. Sorry, you will be greatly disappointed. I said that again. Every day of your life, you will get to relate with people. Would you have a predetermined mindset to treat them right? This is where this is going. God wants you to have a predetermined mindset. If I meet people, I'm going to be good to them. It doesn't matter if I know them or not. It doesn't matter how they're going to treat me back but this is just who I am it's not easy but it is simple it is not easy to do but it is simple to understand and start doing you apply this to your first impression of people what impression do you want people to have of you what is the first impression you want people to have of you once anybody meets you what do you want them to think I would not want people to hurt me I would not want people to hate me. I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want people to lie on me, reject me, abandon me. It's it's something I don't want. Like, I don't want it. So, but you know what happens? If they do, if they get to hurt me, if they get to reject me, abandon me, it doesn't feel right. I don't know if it would feel right to you. But in all honesty, it doesn't feel right. If you've been there before, you've been hurt, you've been rejected, you've been abandoned. It doesn't feel right at all. If people have criticized you wrongly, blamed you, it doesn't feel right. If it does not feel right, what I should learn from this is I should not give this to any other person. I think if these people that are actually hurting people, abusing people and raping people, if they would think again, would I love these things to be done to me? My sister, my wife, you know, think about it. Would you like this? things done to you would you like to experience such so if you wouldn't like to experience such don't give it to any other person Luke chapter 6 verse 31 to 36 do to others as you would like them to do to you if you only love those who love you why should you get credit for that even sinners love those who love them and if you do good only to those who do good to you why should you get credit even sinners do that much you must be compassionate just as your father is compassionate this is so good. People bring up a lot of things. If you're online, you see people say, love who loves you. Be there for who is there for you. Help whoever helps you. Does this, is this a good principle to live by? The Bible says sinners do this. People don't know God do this. If you're a child of God watching this, that's not God's own rule. God doesn't want you to, to do that. God wants you to go about it differently. Sinners do this. Love who loves you. Because if you love me, I get to love you. It's very simple. But God's way, God's path is a higher path. Which one would you choose? The world standard, cultural rules, or God's principle? Do to others what you would like them to do unto you. So I've just explained this in view of people do you bad and you get to realize, oh, you would, didn't know they could do that. Go to the accident to do that to you. When you get to realize that, you should teach you not to give that to anybody. The children of Israel, when they came out of Egypt, the Bible records that God told them, you were once strangers in a foreign land. So when you meet strangers or foreigners, be good to them, be hospitable to them because you know how it feels and what it feels to be strangers, to be hurt, disenfranchised, marginalized. You know what it means to be abandoned. You know what it means to go through pain. So don't give such treatment to people when you know how it feels. If it didn't feel good, don't do it to anybody. 
sorry, I hope you hear me today. Do you help people hoping that one day they may help you? Or do you help people because you love helping people? Because God wants you to help them. That should be what is defining you. Do good to people not because you are trying to get them to do it to you. Be there for who is there for you. If you apply this kind of principle in your life, then that will be a substandard principle to go through. That is why we see a lot of things happening and people can help each other because for first thing you think about when someone approaches you is what can they do for me or what will they be able to do for me so if they will not be able to do anything good for me why do i go about trying to do good to them you know just look at that why would i go about trying to do anything good to anybody when i know that they're not going to be able to do anything good to me it's kind of tragic to to see that this is where our culture is going to and i'm making this video in view that you would watch this and then it will speak to you in a different way that you start seeing things differently and maybe doing it differently you don't have to get even on everything i know the ego of man our pride and our ego wants to just yeah, let me give them the test of their medicine like your ego wants to speak so loud that you don't even want to listen to the voice the humble voice that is telling you just calm down just calm down the bible in romans chapter 12 verse 17 and 21 says never pay back evil with more evil do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable <laughs> That's beautiful. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. This is such a beautiful thing. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone will see. Not that everyone will think it's your fruits, your actions that matter. It's not about what they think, it's about what they see. So it's not even the reputation you can give to people. Of course, you can give everybody a good reputation that you are a good person, but people that know you do. You don't have to be funny. You don't have to be fake. Just do good. And everybody will see that you are honorable. When people get to do you evil, it's honorable that you will surpass their evil, replace it with good. If you want to pay back evil back with evil, what good does it bring? You know, they hurt me, so I'm going to hurt them. My heart was broken, so I'm going to go about breaking people's heart. This happened to me, so I'm going to spread it. This is where we come to a place of hurting people, hurt people. It's not like it's a good thing. Yeah, you were hurt. It wasn't good. I'm not trying to say that being hurt is good. I know how it feels don't hurt anybody if you're listening to this don't try it it damages people god not helping them or them not being realizing that god wants to help them they could become something else how do people hurt people it's about the, the pro revenge culture that we live in you know just repay it back on earth like in my language it was an ssop song that's an acquired language like simple kind of revenge you do it on earth but that's not god's it's, it's not in the bible in that romans chapter 12 the bible talks about do not try to revenge vengeance of god justice and revenge are two different things i'm not, not going to go into that so if someone was hurt or abused by someone such a person should face the law they hated me i will hate them i will show them you know the first person that does it does not know how to do it so it's the last person that do it that knows how to do it best so they hated me first so you know what i'm going to give them i will hate them recruit people to hate them i will show them pepe like whatever pepe you think you can show to someone i would like you to think again whatever was done to you i'm not saying it was good but did it feel right if it did not feel right please and please do not try to give that to anybody else anywhere initiating to others what you would like them to do to you kills selfishness it kills selfishness you know what it promotes it promotes selflessness the bible talks about loving your neighbor as you do love yourself if i wouldn't like a certain thing to be done to me someone did it to me i didn't like it i shouldn't give it to my neighbor to anybody who is my neighbor any fellow human wearing the same skin breathing the same breath that god gave that's my neighbor i should not deal treacherously with my neighbor that's a big kind of king james english <laughs> i should not deal evil with my neighbor because i passed through evil there are some people because they had it tough in life so they want to make other people go through the same thing and i think it's a very bad principle to follow do to others what you would like them to do unto you okay when you were going through the, the tough times it didn't feel good now you are in a position you can be of help to people and you're trying to tell them that they should go through the same pain like they should face tough times and if they face it maybe they will come out stronger or whatever if you can help people just do it because you had it tough doesn't mean you should make others add it tough of. instead use your experience to even teach them how can they come out of whatever struggle or, or tough times that they are facing how can they you know come off that 
You would want to be loved. Yes, you would. Okay, start loving people. And you know what? Love people not because you want to be loved back. This doesn't apply in relationship. <laughs> Don't start loving someone that does not love you. Relationship is about commitment. You can apply the principle in your relationship when you people are on the same basis. You don't get into a relationship with someone you do not know. I'm not trying to say go love anybody and then you know don't expect them to love you back that's not a relationship it has to be mutual if it has to be a relationship on a normal level you're supposed to love everybody love your neighbor as you do love yourself if you don't get to love yourself you'll not be able to love your neighbor you know that god loves you then you can now love yourself then love your neighbor love yourself so much that if someone does not love you you're still fine if they don't love you you're still fine but this is what is worse if you don't love yourself you can love another person you've got to love yourself and this is not in a negative form love yourself the way god asks you to love yourself you know you're not condemned you are redeemed you there's no condemnation on you god has saved you he loved you for so you are now resting in his love you can love you instead of hurting yourself because there are a lot of people that go through life they feel like they have felt god so now they want to hurt themselves you know tear themselves open and all of those things and most of the abuse that happens to people get them to a place that they are frustrated some of them want to take their life and love you so that you can love someone else before you would even know good things that you want people to do unto you you should love yourself because if you are someone that do not love yourself you think you deserve the worst you would give the worst to someone of course you expect them to give you the worst so that's why you go about spreading heart and pain you need to heal from that i was having this conversation with my friend and as i was explaining this to him he said one thing if it's too hot for you to handle don't dish it out please if you've been hurt don't try to dish the heart out to any other person if you've gone through any struggle don't try to dish it out but if you have a beautiful experience of someone being kind to you in such a way that you did not expect in an unbelievable way please give it out like spread it like a wildfire just share it to people if there is a good experience you have give it to other people if there is any good thing you've learned from this video please i would like to hear from you in the comment section i want to subscribe to this channel if you want to help me continue to do this subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost you money press the red subscribe button give it a thumbs up if you like any of the content on this video if i would love to want people to love me i'm gonna love people not even expecting that they would love I, like i'm obeying god it, it just feels good that i would obey god that i'll be like my father the whole essence of us following jesus is that we become more like him that is his desire that we become more like him and like luke chapter 6 said be compassionate as your father in heaven is compassionate you'll be good as your father in heaven is good thank you for watching this video thank you stay blessed man blessed for you to see other videos that i'm gonna post subscribe to the channel i hope this has blessed you and i want to hear your thoughts in the comment section and then share the video share 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 it will be my greatest joy to see you helping this video go out bye